Hey everybody, we're back. If you're new, thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon, this is Coco. We're not twins. She's a twin, we're not twins. We're twinning. We've got this mommy and me thing going. Is it cute, Coco? Yeah. Yeah, say hi everyone. Hi. Hi. Okay y'all, so today, super excited. Can we put the fart toy down? Thank okay. you. <laughs> super excited because we are going for my breast augmentation consultation. Um, if you didn't know, you probably don't know, but I have always been super small chested, so I'm really excited to go for this because I have always worn padded bras, push-up bras, water bras when that was a thing. I even wore those. Um, but I'm excited for this. My surgeon is doing it. He's done my other surgeries before. He's done my lips also. I have a lot of trust and faith in him, which is why I want to have this done now because I don't know where we'll be in a few years. And I already trust him and have grown a relationship with him and I don't want to have to go to somebody else. So we're going to the consultation today. I'm super, super excited. You have lipstick on, Coco? Yeah. Let's talk about some lipstick really quick. I was gonna go with the bright red to go with the shirt. Similar to the red Coco is slightly wearing, um, but then I have to put a mask on and I'd look crazy. So I decided to go with the YSL. So the lipstick of the day is YSL. It's in Japanese, but I believe this is number eight of like the voluminous shine. This is what it looks like. I have pretty much used most of it. I will try to block our faces out. This is what it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. If you haven't tried these, I would highly recommend you try them even though they are pricey, but that's not what this video is about. It is about the consultation that I'm super excited about. So let's get the kids ready and get out the door. Okay, everybody, so we just spoke with Dr. Alavi. The kids were actually pretty good, a little bit loud at times, but still pretty good. Um, so we talked to him about the difference between silicone and saline and where he would do the incision. I also talked to him about some more liposuction. Um, so we got through all of that anyway, and now Sue is here. We're going to go over the pricing really quick, and I'll get back to you. Okay, y'all, we're home now, so let me just go over really quickly what we went over in the office. We went over the difference between the silicone and the saline. The saline comes with a lifetime warranty. It feels less real, and it is $1,000 less as far as the cost. The silicone, you do not have to worry about it leaking. That was a concern of mine but she explained to me that it's basically like a gummy bear so if you were to cut a gummy bear in half it's not gonna leak it's just I don't, it's like a gummy bear um, but it feels more squishy because she let me touch the the two different um, implants so the silicone does not come with a lifetime warranty and they do have to be replaced after about 20 to 30 years. And with silicone, you do need to have um, an MRI done every few years or something like that. I think with the saline, you do have to get them replaced after 20 to 30 years, but you may not have to. We did discuss how they were gonna do the surgery, where they were gonna go in at. So they're going to go in um, towards like the bottom part of my nipple and in there to put the implants in. And I am gonna go with the saline because it does have a lifetime warranty. So even if I move, say something happens and I move to a different state, the implant itself is actually what has the warranty. So I can go to any other surgeon and have it fixed. I don't have to be here. And with the saline, I also don't have to go and have MRIs or anything done. And I don't wanna have to do that because insurance won't cover that and I'll be paying out of pocket. As far as the feeling, the silicone, you definitely feel a difference between the two, but the saline one that she let me feel was basically like a water balloon that was only halfway full of saline and then the rest was just air. So I feel like it's slightly hard to gauge. I also discussed with him the fact that one of my breasts is larger. So I always had one that was a little bit larger, but after I had kids and started breastfeeding, this one produced a lot more milk and it's just stayed bigger. So so he is going to even them out when he does them. I did talk to her about pricing and everything. It's Sue, Miss Sue. I, am, I dealt with her before when I had my BBL. She's the person who was in the consultation with me and went over pricing with me then also. But this is what my pricing is for breast augmentation, saline. Oh yeah, and I'm adding two areas of liposuction in there. Um, it'll be like my side love handles. So the breast augmentation, and that's the saline one, is 3,900. And then the lipo for two areas is 1,300. And then um, center or surgical center is 850 and the anesthesia is 950. I don't know if I paid a surgical center fee last 
last time. I feel like I only paid the anesthesia that was like a thousand dollars, but my total is seven thousand. They are giving me a discount um, because I go there often. Not often. It's not like I get a ton of work done, but we have a pretty good relationship. And I said that before. I I absolutely love him, and I clearly I trust him with my life. Um, so they gave me a discount of five hundred. So my total now is six thousand five hundred dollars. I paid the two hundred dollar deposit. And then I decided to just pay another $2,000 because I actually just had the random $2,000 in the bank account. So um, since I already had pulled that card out, I figured I'd just pay the $2,200 because that's what was in the bank there. So I just paid that. And then I can either call up there and pay the rest or on my post-op or my pre-op day, then I can pay the rest then. You have to pay the rest on pre-op day, but you can pay before if you want. I probably won't go out of my way to call them. I'll just pay the rest of the money um, before the surgery. So the surgery is gonna be on February 20th at 9.30, and the pre-op appointment is gonna be February 4th. And because I've already kind of done this before, I know that at the pre pre-op appointment we are going to go over the everything that's going to happen we're going to go over the sizes and everything again and the shape and everything again one more time we're also going to talk about the medications and the recovery time and everything that he's going to do he's very thorough and very fast um so i already know what's happening at pre-op you pay for your stuff you get your prescriptions and all of that and then the day before the surgery, um, somebody's going to call me. It'll probably be Carol. I hope it's Carol. I like Carol. Um, Carol will call me and she'll go over everything that I need to know or prep myself for the next day, the, fall, the surgery day. But I got it all right here. I'm pretty excited. I'm happy. Um, I might... I might decide to switch to silicone. I'm not sure. I didn't get to talk to my husband about it yet. So um, when he comes home from work, we'll probably discuss it now that I know that silicone is not necessarily a threat. Like I was concerned about the silicone leaking and that's why I was just stuck on saline only um, because my husband is not down to take any type of risks. But um, now that I know that it's not a threat or I don't have to worry about it leaking, then that is something we can talk about. And, um, you know, if I want to spend that extra thousand dollars, but honestly, I don't, I don't know if I do. I do feel a difference between the two, but I don't know if you'll actually feel a major difference once they're in there, if it's worth a thousand dollars. And I also like the fact that the saline comes with a lifetime warranty. So that's a major plus to me, but we're going to end this and I will actually catch y'all when we go to our pre-op appointment.